Browns and Falcons 1 o'clock on Sunday at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Let's do three things to watch. Let's make our picks. Mary Kay, what do you have? You know, I'm going to go with Jacoby Brissett. He's been playing so well these last couple of weeks. Nobody expected him to do this well. I think one of the things that has been key to all of this is, is that he's connecting so well with Amari Cooper. They've combined for 100 yards in each of the last two games. Uh, they just have their mojo on the field together. And, uh, of course, Jacoby is supported by a tremendous running game, a good offensive line, and a really good defense. But he's making the most of his opportunities and, for now at least, making people forget a little bit about Deshaun Watson. Yeah, Jacoby has been really good, especially in these last two games. The thing I'm watching is, look, we don't know if Miles Garrett is going to play on Sunday. We don't know if Jadavion Clowney is going to play on Sunday. So... The thing to watch there is some of these young defensive ends. Alex Wright will get an opportunity. Uh, Isaac Rochelle, not really young, but he could get an opportunity. And then there's Isaiah Thomas as well. How will those guys step up without the Browns' two elite pass rushers on the edge if, in fact, Clowney and Garrett do not play? Ashley, what about you? My thing to watch is actually going to be on the Falcon side, and that's Corderell Patterson. He's been struggling with a knee injury this week. He did return to practice today, but is listed as questionable on their injury report. But this guy's off to an amazing start this season. He's a top three running back in the league yardage wise, averaging 6.2 yards per carry. If Cleveland is without some of those big names on their defensive front, that's definitely a storyline to watch. So who, is you, who are you picking on Sunday? I am going to pick the Browns, and we were joking. I I was like, I'm trying to remember my prediction from our Orange and Brown Talk preview podcast, but I think it was Browns 31, Falcons 24. All right, I'm going to take the Browns as well. My score is probably going to be different than what it was on the podcast. As our videographer said, hey, I'll get one right somewhere. 27-21 Browns. Mary Kay? You know, I'm going to go with the Browns as well, so it's a clean sweep here. I just think the Browns running game, I, I just think it's going to be too much for those Atlanta Falcons, and they're going to uh, run behind those two big dancing bears, and uh, and they're just going to crush it. Uh, I'm going Browns 24-20. Well, whatever happens, we'll cover it all at cleveland.com slash Browns. The three of us will be there, so make sure you follow along all day Sunday there.